I, I tell people all the time, you ain't see nothing or experience nothing until you in the garden when it's rocking. You understand when it's rocking, there's no better place in the world to be in. I'll go right. Okay, so for Mikhail Bridges this season, things are going to be quite interesting because at times when Carl Anthony Towns goes up against some of these teams with larger and stronger forwards who could actually keep up with them, and he can't quite penetrate, at times he might end up disappearing. And just to further elaborate what I mean by at times that he could disappear, it's against teams that have, you know, versatile players who can guard different positions like Aaron Gordon in Denver. That's a strong, big forward. Teams like the Boston Celtics who have multiple forwards and uh, Jalen Brown and also players who can kind of guard different positions in Drew Holiday. Even standing at 6'4", he's a player who can guard at times even centers. So players in that archetype sometimes could give Car Anthony Towns issues. And another player, for example, is Paolo Benchero, that type of archetype. So teams that have these type of players can sometimes give Car Anthony Towns issues, especially if that shot is not falling. So he can't quite back down a lot of these players. And sometimes it leads to him being stagnant. So this is where Mikhail Bridges could have possibly some time to shine as a Knicks secondary scorer. But the preseason has been rough and I wouldn't hang my hat too much on it. Mikhail is one of these guards who have been proven in the past, especially when he first arrived in Brooklyn, that he can run an offense. He can handle things in the pick and roll, especially when Brunson is sitting on the bench. He has a nice mid-range game. He could take guys to the cup. He could also attack closeouts. But during the preseason, I noticed that he missed a lot of three-pointers in transition. Once again, Tibbs is giving the players the green light to take shots very early in possessions. And this year's preseason sort of reminded me when RJ and Randall and Brunson had their first, you know, regular season start going up against the Memphis Grizzlies. Guys look like they didn't want to step on each other's toes. The hierarchy wasn't quite yet established along with the chemistry. Here's a prime example in another transitional play. Mikel, instead of settling for the three-point shot, he, he could attack. He could attack and he could even dunk it on people. So... He does bring a brand new dynamics the Knicks have. I remember the days of the Knicks just being kind of clunky in transition, not having guys being able to finish. We have a nice little combo with OG. He could dunk. Mikhail could also finish. And Josh Hart pushing the pace. Again, I wouldn't hang my hat too much on Mikhail missing shots in the preseason. As right here, he shows even out of the post up, he can hit the fadeaway. He has such a just versatile game around the paint right here it's just nasty he can hit all kinds of fadeaways floaters he's a really great signing for the knicks once again a lot of his missed threes if you notice right here it's in transition good to see tips giving guys the confidence to just have the green light to take these shots the knicks offense is finally modernized looking like the steve nash phoenix suns with the pace and space right here this is an interesting lineup with tips putting Precious with the starting unit. Also, Towns and Brunson right here are given opportunity to run pick and roll on this side while everyone else crowds up here. But our guys are going to have the options. Mikhail right here. Notice how OG made his run down here, dragging his defender with him. And Mikhail, he doesn't necessarily have to settle for these shots. He could attack the closeout. He easily could attack these. But just looking at the trends with the Knicks, they want to stay on track with teams as far as three-point attempts per game. But this is easily a closeout that Mikel could easily attack right here. Pump fake and just drive in. He has that ability. There's just going to be so much opportunity for these guys this season. I mean, look at right here. Teams got to pick their poison. Brunson, Mikel, Towns. There's Brunson right here. When they collapse on him like this, see the defense? They're going to have to pay at some point. It's going to be open shooters, even OG. Team's got to pick their poison. Long gone are the days teams can actually run that game on the Knicks, like in the Philadelphia 76ers with Kelly Oubre and Kyle Lowry and also Nick Batum. 
They sort of try to collapse on Brunson 24-7, even though he's still getting through that. This season, there's just going to be so much more opportunity and just so much better looks for Brunson. So it shouldn't come as a shock if he actually averages higher efficiency numbers and more points per game. Again, a lot of the missed shots that Mikhail had during the preseason was in transition. Nick's definitely running a more faster pace, faster play style than we've seen in years before. And guys are getting green lights to take shots even before guys are set up to initially either to get boards or to at least run a play. Right off the offensive board, a lot of these threes Mikhail took is in motion. It's not an easy shot right there. Another transition three by Mikhail, but check it out right here. He steps back right into that shot. A lot of his misses in the preseason came like that, where he's taking a lot of in motion and in transition shots. But I wouldn't hang my hat too much on that. It just shows his versatility. He can even take shots off the dribble. But he makes this one right here. But that exact shot right there is a lot of the three-pointers he missed during the preseason. Just stepping back in transition into those shots. It's always been in motion, not necessarily just catch and shoot. One of the reasons Mikel is probably always catching the ball in a perpetual state of just motion. Because he's one of these off-ball players that is constantly trying to find space to attack. Creating for himself while not necessarily having the ball. And that's probably one of the reasons why in the preseason you see a lot of him just catching the ball perhaps moving backwards at the same time to get in position to be behind the three-point line he's constantly in motion so as the season progresses the Knicks chemistry will kind of get more on point so guys are gonna have more comfortability and just more situational awareness of where to be on the court again it's early I wouldn't hang my hat too much on this again right here Mikel very early in the possession not necessarily catch and shoot. Always in motion. Again, right here, very early in transition. Check out Mikel. He's going to step right into that shot. Constantly taking these threes in motion. That last preseason, boy, I tell you what. <laughs> some of the fan base had a bit PTSD with Mikel, but it's okay. We could be confident. The team is headed in the right direction. It's real early. It's preseason. But right here again, check out Mikel in constant state of motion when taking most of these shots, stepping back into the three. You know shit is bad when they're digging up Mikel archives after this game with sound bites, talking about him working on his mechanics. Man, that Nick PTSD, I'll tell you what. <laughs> that shit is something else. But it's okay. Once again, it's okay, man. We, we, we headed in the right direction. Right here, Mikhail running with the bench unit. And it's going to be interesting to see during the season how things are going to work out with him and Towns along with that unit. If Mikhail can actually run this offense with pick and roll with Towns and have possibly McBride taking shots. Um, I'm not sure how often Kolek is going to play, but his three-point shot, it's improving, but he still has much more improvement. Uh, just overall how this bench unit is going to work, especially with Precious now being out to start it off. And this is all before Mitch comes back into that lineup. But once again, right here, Mikhail stepping right into this shot. Stepping backwards, taking another three-point shot. A lot of these shots, a lot of these attempts kind of went this way during the preseason. But going back to the point of Mikhail running this offense with Towns in a pick-and-roll situation, we didn't get to see too much of this in the preseason. But here it is with the starting unit. And Brunson, low-key, I'm not sure if you fellas remember when he was down in Dallas. With Luka running this position right here, Brunson got into his catch-and-shoot bag all the time. He has that in his arsenal. So when he got to the Knicks, his pull-up game got better off the pick-and-roll. And now with the way the Knicks are constructed, he has the ability to go back in his catch-and-shoot bag. So a pick-and-roll like this compromising this defender right here i believe this is jordan Poole. once brunson gets more spaced out here Poole is compromised he can't really attack the spacing right here we're gonna see it play out you see brunson he didn't get to his spot early enough but had he been here a lot faster 
Jordan Poole's complete compromise. He can't necessarily stunt in and block Bridges' attacking lane. Because once Bridges goes downhill here, this is his bag. Fadeaway shots from here, 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 here. Elbows everywhere. He can, he can kill you anywhere. Floaters. We see right here, compromise. Can't necessarily stunt in too hard because again brunson has the ability to get into his catch and shoot bag very similar to how it was in dallas but right here the play kind of gets a little clunky now here's bridges with the bench unit and right here jericho sims really off the pick and roll is not going to give him a lot of options his defense is not necessarily perceiving him as a threat Plus, he has Precious out there. His shooters are in the corner. So there's no real threat to stop defenders from crowding up his attacking lanes coming off this pick. But with this very lineup, if you replace either Precious or Sims with Towns, this scenario right here is going to be very interesting to see how it plays out during the regular season. See right here, things get clunky because nobody's a real threat. There's no real threat off the roll, and Precious is not really a threat from out here. So defenders are able to clog up his attacking lanes. But Bridges in the past, especially when he first arrived in Brooklyn, he's proven that he can run an offense. The first two months, he was killing for the Brooklyn Nets, and that was the peak Bridges coming off that trade. As you can see, a few examples here of him just running the offense and pick and roll and just showing off his versatility and scoring fadeaways from the paint attacking in transition running the pick and rolls shooting threes whether off the dribble or pull up and the same thing even applied in his mid-range game so bridges showed off a very versatile package when he first arrived in brooklyn and going back to my initial point with mikhail bridges and car anthony towns running pick and roll this is going to allow brunson to get back into his catch and shoot bag as he was previously in that role playing alongside Luka Doncic. Playing alongside these ball dominant players like James Harden, LeBron James, Luka Doncic. It doesn't get talked about too much, but sometimes guys get reduced to a role to just being a catch and shoot guy. And you got to be one hell of a player to kind of get out of that mold. As we've seen Dwayne Wade did with LeBron down in Miami. And same thing to a degree for Kyrie Irving when he was in Cleveland. They were still able to get their points. But in reality, these ball dominant players really thrive having catch and shoot guys around them. So the Knicks offense this season will have some versatility in it. But Mikael Bridges having the ability to run a pick and roll and just being a threat from anywhere around the paint. But he doesn't have the passing ability that Luka has, of course, to make this pass while in traffic. But Brunson will have opportunities to be open from three. Because not only Mikhail is a threat, you got OG a threat from the corner when defenses make their rotations. Brunson is going to have times this season where he's going to have the ability to catch and shoot. So the Knicks will have options. And Brunson just being alongside a player like Luka Doncic who can draw all this attention. Just look at the gravitational pull. And Brunson was able to get into multiple bags as right here. He's going to attack the closeout into a step back three. You see, Luca allowed a lot of these guys to get into multiple bags with their perimeter game. The gravitational pull around him was so strong that according to the stat sheet, he should have had way more assists. But just the number of opportunities that he generated counted way more than the assists that he actually got on paper. And all that opportunity allowed guys like Brunson to establish a foothold and have a place in the league. 